You know, when I first started, the actual sonar was just a paper graph that would spit paper out. There was no GPS back then. And as I got a little bit more well known, the tuna fishery exploded, the gear exploded. Found a nice little niche here with these bluefin and it's all I do now. My reputation precedes me a little bit here. Um, number one, because I'm a little bit, you know, off kilter. A little bit weird, which, you know, we're all weird to be out here doing this. Bluefin was my chosen species. It's an interesting fish. Number one, it's always moving, so it's hard to find and it's hard to stay on. And then what is it exactly that they're feeding on so that you can fool one into biting your offering? In Cape Cod, we have the Labrador Current, which runs down the coast from Maine and empties out on the Nantucket Shoals. So you constantly have cold water upwellings, which create an environment that's really conducive for bait. Typically, it's the whales that start the fun. We get the whales in April, and these whales, if they can survive in an area on the bait that's present, you know for certain that those bluefin are gonna come in and they're gonna be able to sustain themselves as well. Especially up here in New England with the fog, radar is a big factor in, in not only being safe and navigating, but finding and locating fish. Um, you can actually see the whales, you'll get a little bloom real quick, and then the birds will look like rain almost, little blue and green droplets of rain as they bloom up around the whales and come down. So oftentimes, when you can't see anything and you're hunting, um, that radar will bring you right to the life. So we're marking fish at a specific depth here, just outside of rip. We're in some deeper water and seeing those fish down in the water column, easiest thing to do rather than setting up short drifts. You put the trolling motor in, you hit spot lock. I can keep the boat up over the suspended fish. We're using an 87 inch Tarova, which can hold this boat, weighs about 7,500 pounds dry, 8,800 or so loaded like we're at. Holds this boat no problem in the current hopefully put the jigs right down on top of their head. The advancements that have been made are just astronomical in how quickly things have developed. These Solixes, now you can see each individual fish. You can see the fins on the fish. You can watch the line. They're, they're strong enough to pick up this thin braided line and a jig heading to the bottom. Certainly has um, made life a lot easier for me. 